Hey guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. Today we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit more about Palkia and we're going to be going a little bit more in depth about um, about this Pokemon because apparently GoHub did in fact had a uh, article or, or a guy talking about Palkia. So if um, by the time you see this video we may, may or may not have already got confirmation that Palkia is going to be our raid boss. So in this video we're going to be talking about Palkia and the best Pokemon we can use to counteract this 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 Pokemon, and you know, all of its stuff. So, like we, as we went over before in the other video where I talked about Palkia, Palkia is going to be a Water dra and Dragon type Pokemon. So let's read up. Let's read on here. So, Palkia is a Tier Five Legendary Raid Boss in Pokemon Go. It's going to have five thousand, fifty thousand and nineteen. That's it. Five thousand. 50,019 combat power. So it's going to be it's going to be 50,019. So it's going to be a little bit above Groudon and Kyogre. So it's pretty cool. So 100% um Palkia if these are the correct numbers, 100% is going to be with normal weather conditions it's going to be 2280 and in windy weather you're going to be looking for 2850. So 2280 and then in low, as a level 20 with without the weather boost and then 2850 if it's windy or raining considering that this this is a water and dragon type pokemon so arguably palkia is going to be one of the far one of the best dragon pokemon in the game i feel like palkia is going to surpass solomon's 100 percent because considering the stats comparing this one to, to solomon's i honestly feel like palkia is going to be Far more, far better than Salamence, um, for sure. I don't think it's gonna surpass Rayquaza or Dragonite at all. And and the, actually, those two are actually the best counters against this Pokemon, which we're gonna talk about that in just a second. So, but Palkia, in my opinion, is going to be the third best Dragon type Pokemon in the game. That is, it once Dialga hits comes through, but we still have no confirmation about Dialga. But right now, we're focusing on Palkia, so. It's going to be the, the third best dragon Pokemon, so we're going to go ahead and it's going to be, it's going to be, we're going to be talking about this right here. So, um, Rayquaza and Dragonite are going to be the best counters against Palkia because Palkia, like, like, we, like I mentioned before, is going to be weak to only dragon and fairy type. So, dragons are going to be extremely useful against this powerful Pokemon. Um, granted, if Palkia does carry the Draco Meteor, um, you definitely want to stay away from the Dragons, which is a bit of a bummer because it's like the Dragons are actually going to be your best choices against Palkia in general because it only has two weaknesses. So this Pokemon is going to be pretty. It's, a, it's going to be a relatively hard Pokemon to counteract if you got if you're if you're not prepared. But um, there are some Pokemon that you can actually use in case you don't have the top contenders of Pokemon here. Um, so we we have Rayquaza. Which is going to be the best Pokemon? I know not many people, not not a lot of people may have this Pokemon. So, um, but Rayquaza is gonna be is gonna be one of the best choices against Palkia with Dragon Tail and Outrage, and also Dragonite is gonna be really well. It's gonna also be extremely well against Palkia as well. Rayquaza is going to be the supreme choice. Pa Dragonite is gonna be the an excellent counter because they're just about the um. They're just gonna be, but they're just gonna be basically doing the same. It's just that Rayquaza is gonna do a lot more damage. Palkia, I mean, stop, wow. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Dragonite is going to be able to survive longer in the fight. So that's basically the whole concept of it there. So just so you guys get an idea, and they also suggest Palkia as well. Um, but um, Dra Solomon's is is there as well with Dragon Tail and Draco Meteor. Um, it's good. Um, it's oh, uh, not a bad choice. They also suggest Dialga, but Dialga is not in the game yet, so I don't know why that's in there. Um, Latios with Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw is actually not a bad choice at all either against Palkia because Latios will resist both the fire and the water, and the fire blast and the hydro pump. So my boy Latios is going to be coming through for sure when it comes to against Palkia. So I can't wait. Um, we're gonna also be building some team. We're gonna I'm gonna be building my ex legit full Palkia team against um, Palkia, and then we're gonna also suggest choose Pokemon that are actually going to be useful in case you don't have these top contenders like Latios, Solomon's, 
Rayquaza or Dragonite. We all we just have those. Um, they're just they're just those. The, the, there's just Pokemon that are just going to be um to do supremely well. Shout out to Lewis by the way for saying hey on this on the on the video. <laughs> but um yeah um dragons are going to be doing extremely well against this Pokemon. So. But if it has Draco Meteor, then these dragons are going to get destroyed like right away. So there are some other Pokemon that we can use against this Pokemon. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Now, now again, if you don't have these top Pokemon that's on the top of the list, there's other Pokemon you can use as well. Um, Latias with Dragon Breath Outrage will actually be fairly good as well. Um, it's in a lower case because it doesn't offer as much DPS as Latios. Um, just comparing these two because these, these are my top two favorite Pokemon. But Latias definitely has a lot more bulk than Latios. So personally, I will still use. I'm going to still use Latias. Like if I do raid battles again, if I do raids again, like in groups, like with a lot of people, I personally will be using Latios and Latias against Palkia because you know why not? Those are my two top favorite Pokemon. So yeah, I even have a 98% maxed out. Question me right. Question me right now. What's up? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyways. Um, Gardevoir is actually not a bad choice either, especially if Palkia carries the Draco Meteor, then Gardevoir will be able to tank that really well, being able to take 50% less damage from the, uh, Dragon Moose being a Fairy type, so, if you have Gardevoir, Gardevoir is going to be really good against Palkia as well, um, it's, I think Gardevoir is going to, in general, going to, um, shine really well against Palkia, so I would definitely recommend you guys get some Gardevoirs ready, because Gardevoir, I think it's going to be pretty good in case you don't have the top dragon contenders or if the Palkia you happen to face has Draco Meteor, then Gardevoir is going to be really well, really, really good in that scenario because Gardevoir does have that fairy typing. It's going to be doing 50% less damage. It's going to be, sorry, it's going to be taking 50% less damage, sorry, from the Draco, from Draco Meteor and basically from both of Palkia's fast moves. So Gardevoir in general, it's going to be a relatively good choice against Palkia. So, definitely want to consider using some of those. It's, it's a relatively good Pokemon. You also have Exeggutor with Alolan Exeggutor with Dragon Tail and Dragon Pulse. It's actually not a bad choice because it's neutral to Fire Blast and does it does take 50% less damage from the Hydro Pump. Um, but, I will definitely stay away from it if Palkia has Draco Meter because it's a Dragon type. Um, Gyarados with Dragon Breath and Outrage is, is not a bad choice. The only problem with that is that Dragon Breath... Also, Dragon Tail, it's Legacy, so um, definitely it's, it's going to be hard to get those. But, you know, you could always go with Gyarados with Bite Outrage, you know, basically as a as a choice if you don't have, happen to have any of the other contenders. You know, Gyarados with Bite Outrage is not bad because you could always just um, fill up that meter um, pretty quickly with the Bites. Being able to get your meter up, your energy up fast to get off those Outrages with Gyarados. And Gyarados does resist the Fire Blast and Hydro Pump, and is neutral to Draco Meteor, um, so it's not that bad. Um, just as a, you know, B-team counter, basically. Um, Groudon is actually has an interesting mention here with Dragon Tail and Solar Beam. I kind of don't agree with this one, especially if Palkia has Hydro Pump, it's going to OCO Groudon, plus not to mention Hydro Pump, it's going to be Staff, so I would definitely stay away from Groudon, but if that's, if, considering Groudon and, and, pa and Kyogre are our current Ray bosses until Palkia takes over. Um, if you happen to get Groudons with Dragon Tail Solar Beam, well, I mean, give it a shot. I would just stay away from it if it has Hydro Pump. Or in general, I would stay away from it, period, because I don't know if it's going to be able to survive long enough. But I say give it a shot. See, We'll see what happens there. Um, Mewtwo with Confusion Shadow Ball is a real, is, is a generalist attacker. It's, not, it's definitely not a bad choice at all. Shadow Ball is Legacy, so keep that in mind. So you can always go with Confusion Psychic, Confusion Ice Beam, Psycho Cut Ice Beam. You can also go Psycho Cut to get your charge moves going a lot faster. So that's another bad, not, not a bad choice either. Mewtwo is always a pretty good choice there. Flygon with Dragon Tail and Dragon Claw um, as a B counter there, you know, considering that Trampinch is still in the 10s, Niantic, please, get rid of Trampinch out of the 10-kilometer eggs, please, because we, we're tired of it, um, Kindra with Dragon Breath Outrage is also not bad, being able to quad resist both Fire Blast and, um, Hydro, it basically is the same type as Palkia, so, but, so, it's, yeah, so Kindra's not a bad choice, just be wary of Draco Meteor, that's pretty much it, same goes for Giratina with Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw, being able to resist Fire Blast and Hydro Pump, but you have to be careful of the Draco Meteor in that regard as well. So, um, yeah, and I'm going to, uh, so ba so there you go, guys. Um, there are some Pokemon there you can use for sure. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, I'm going to actually build a team 
Uh, I'm gonna actually build two teams. My my team I'm gonna be using myself against Palkia, like when I do it in groups, and then you know I'm gonna choose Pokemon that I think I should rec that you guys should take a look at in case you don't have access to the top contenders like Rayquaza and them. So um, but you know it's we'll see what happens. You know we'll see we'll see how this goes for sure. Cause I, honestly Palkia is going to be a relatively strong Pokemon. It's a Dex entry for a lot of, for everybody because this is a brand new Pokemon coming to the game, and I'm pretty excited for this one. I'm definitely going to be rating a lot of these. So. Definitely for sure. So anyways, guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop onto Pokemon Go, and we're going to go ahead and create those teams right now. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, so here we are. We're back on the game. And funny and fun fact, it's actually raining at the time I'm recording this video. So if Palkia was around right now, it would be weather boosted with the rain. So that's actually kind of funny. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and build a team to take on Palkia. So... There are some Pokemon that you can actually use that are going to be pretty considerably useful against this Pokemon. Um, don't mind these teams. I have these. I had these for different um, raids of, for currently for like Kyogre and Groudon, especially for the Venusaurs. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna change these up just for temporarily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pick my six top contenders for this for this one, and I'm gonna go with Dragon first because Dragons are gonna be ideally your best uh, choice against uh, Palkia. So me myself having the access to these dragons, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with like Rayqu I'm gonna go with like if I'm gonna go with, with the best contenders, I'm gonna go with three Rayquaza and three Dragonites, of course, and then I have two more uh maxed out Dragonites as well. But that's basically my uh my team my my full squad right there, like right off the bat for um Palkia because this is these are these these are the best counters against uh Palkia in general. Um, barring the Draco Meteor, of course, but now let's go ahead and pick six unique Pokemon that you guys can also use against this Pokemon. So, um, obviously, like I mentioned before, um, earlier, we can go ahead and use Latios, Latias, so those are just some choices there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and look into some diff different Pokemon here. So, first off, one Pokemon that you guys should definitely look into getting some for sure is, of course, Gardevoir here with Confusion and Dazzling Gleam. Because, as I mentioned before, Gardevoir is a fairy type, and fairy types um, take 50% less damage from dragon type moves. So, being that Palkia has both of its fast moves are dragon, and it has access to Draco Meteor, if the Palkia raid you have has Draco Meteor, and then if you happen to have some Gardevoirs ready to go, then basically. You're good to go in that regards because Gardevoir will take 50% less damage and will be able to survive in the fight quite long against Palkia. So really good, typically good choice. So I definitely recommend if you have Gardevoir, definitely use it. If not, there's you can also use um, Pokemon like Clefable. Granted, Clefable is not going to be as strong, but there are but there are Pokemon that can do well against them as well. You can also use Togekiss with Dazzling Gleam as well. Togekiss is not a bad choice either. And... um. You know, again, Clefable is also pretty good against Palkia, being fairy type as well with the uh, Zen Headbutt and Dazzling Gleam. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be able to take hits a lot really well from Palkia as well. So definitely want to consider if you don't have access to the top Pokemon like Rayquaza, Dragonite, or Salamence, Latios, Latias, you know stuff like that. You could always go with Pokemon like Clefable, and you'll you'll do fine because Clefable is. A fairy type is going to have access to Dazzling Gleam, which is going to be super effective against Pal Palkia as well. So I'm going to actually put one in here just so you guys get an idea. Um, we're going to scroll down these fairy types a little bit more. Um, Mr. Mime's not bad. Wouldn't recommend it, but it does get Gleam as well if I'm not mistaken. Um, just to get an idea, I wouldn't use Mawile at, at all. Even though it does get play rough, I wouldn't use it. Uh, Granbull is not bad as well, at, at all. Um... Azumarill is actually not a bad choice either. It actually, as a matter of fact, guys, Azum if you guys have Azumarill, Azumarill will actually do pretty well, actually, against Palkia. It takes 50% less from Draco Meteor, and it resists Hydro Pump and Fire Blast, which is actually kind of funny. Granted, Azumarill is not going to be the best Pokemon at all in raid battles. It shines a lot better in the Great League, but... It's with the water and fairy typing. It's gonna be able to resist basically every move that Palkia has, and can actually um, hit it hard with Play Rough. So I will if you use Azumarill, it would be best with Rock Smash and Play Rough. You know, and if it's if it's cloudy, you know, fairy 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 attacks get a, get a weather boost. So 
I guess, you know, if you feel like, if you feel real going with that, you know, I say give it a shot. <laughs> I'm just I'm just suggesting it because, you know, it is an actual option you can use as well. And, you know, obviously considering that Palki is up has only the two weaknesses to fairy and dragon. I'm, I keep literally keeps, I literally keep mentioning the fairy type because it's like um you know, the fact that Palkia has its dragon and it's it, you know if it has Draco meteor your dragon their dragons are gonna get destroyed heavily by by the Draco meteor. So definitely have to consider some better some good choices as well. You also can go with Mewtwo with confusion uh, shadow ball which I would put in this team as well. You can also use, if you don't have Shadow Ball, you can also go with Ice Beam. You can go with Psychic. Um, there's a, just some, some options there. Um, you can even go Solomons with the Dragon Tail and Draco Meteor as well. Um, again, Latias with Dragon Breath and Outrage is not bad either. Um, personally, I will, I'm going to use it because it's my favorite. So, just to name a few there. Um, I wouldn't really use Tyranitar because it does resist Fire Blast and it's neutral to Draco Meteor, but it is, it does get Oko by Hydro Pump, so I would definitely stay away from, um, Tyranitar for sure. Um, Gyarados with, again, with Dragon Tail Outrage is not bad at all. I actually do have a shiny one with, uh, I believe it has Dragon Tail and Hydro Pump as well that I got, I got. So, I would actually consider using one of those, um, using that if you have it. Um, Dragon Breath? Is actually gonna be if you have Dragon Breath or Dragon Tail, it's actually gonna do pretty well. Actually, my low take with Dragon Tail and Blizzard might actually not might, might actually not be a bad choice at all. Um, being able to resist Hydro Pump and Fire Blast and being able to tank kids, I would probably use it as a uh, as a anchor of your on your team personally um, because it doesn't have a lot. It doesn't offer good DPS in against you know Palkia. But it does offer some bulk, so and it does hit dragon. It does have dragon tail, so just a choice there in case you don't have access to the again. You don't have access to the top contenders. I'm only suggesting Pokemon for those that may have not have access to the big Pokemon like Rayquaza, Solomon's Dragonite, you know stuff like that. Um, there's some pretty good choices here for alligator with uh, Ice Beam is okay, but I wouldn't recommend that there too. Uh, I think this is the Gyarados that has dragon tail. Uh, I would definitely you go with something like that for sure as a choice against Palkia. With as long as your Gyarados has water t has has access to Dragon Tail, if it doesn't have Dragon Tail or Dragon Breath, then I, if you if you still if it's your best Pokemon that you have, then I will go with Bite Outrage because Bite will get your meter up faster and you can get off those Outrages a lot faster. So just I'm just throwing that out there. Um, definitely want to stay away from Aggron. Well, it does get Dragon Tail. It's not gonna really be doing. It's not gonna be offering a lot on the table, so definitely would not want to use uh, Agron at all. So yeah, again, Garatina with Dragon, uh, Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw is not a bad choice either. It's not gonna be offering a lot of DPS, but it does have some bulk. So Fire Blast and Hydro Pump is has to be the move set. Then it can stay in the fight quite long. So definitely a good choice. Um, again, they mentioned Groudon with uh, Dragon Tail uh, and Solar Beam. Uh, I'm not sure myself because it is, um, personally, I don't think it's going to be that good. But, you know, if it's the only thing you can rock out with, then I say give it a shot. Um, Lapras with Frost Breath Blizzard is actually not a bad choice. It does resist Hydro Pump. It does take neutral from Fire Blast. Um, just drawing some, I'm just drawing some Pokemon out there for sure. Um, but ideally, you definitely want to take advantage of your Dragon and Fairy type Pokemon. The best ones that you have for the most part. But there are oh, there are some other Pokemon that generalist Pokemon that you can use. Again, you know, you have Mewtwo with uh with with basically just about almost any moveset that is not flamethrower. Um or well Thunderbolt's not bad either, but I wouldn't use it personally. I will go with Shadow Ball if if you have it, but Shadow Ball's legacy, so keep that in mind. You can't get you cannot get it currently. And you could also go with like um Psychic, Ice Beam, which those are moves you can currently get. So just I'm just throwing some ideas out there in case you guys don't have the top Pokemon. There are always some Pokemon that you guys can use. So I guess Machamp as well. It would if it, if it's cloudy, you can always go. You can always rock out with a Machamp. I guess I suppose. Um, but you know, ideally you want to try to use your Fairy types uh, when when it comes to this when it comes to this to your Fairy and your Dragon type Pokemon against this against Palkia. So you know, just uh, just so you guys get an idea of what to expect. Um, 
So, yeah, there you go, guys. Um, that's my little analysis on it. You can also try right. You can also go Raikou as well, too, just as a choice there. But, um, ideally, you know, you want your fairy types. You want your dragon types against this Pokemon. If it has Draco Meteor, stay away from your dragons. If it has Fire Blast or Hydro Pump, your dragons are going to do really well against this Behemoth. You know, so definitely, you know, make sure you have some Pokemon there on deck. And even Machamp with Cloudy Boost can also do well as well. Um, you know, just throwing up some stuff in there. But yeah, guys, Palkia is going to be a pretty tough Pokemon. So I definitely urge you guys to definitely be sure you're prepared. Because Palkia is going to be a relatively strong uh, rate boss. So definitely best be ready for what it, what it dishes out. So... Yeah, guys. But other than that, I'm, this is gonna, it's gonna be it for this video, guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment if you guys enjoyed. And let me know what you guys think of, of this Pokemon. So, with that, I'm out of here. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this is Lydios NYC, signing out.